In the last video, I showed you how to create notifications in the scene view to give your tools a little step up or step down, depending on your view of notifications. Now it turns out some people like them and they want to take them to other views in the editor. So in this short tutorial, I'm going to show you how. Now, you don't have to have watched the previous tutorial to get what I'm doing here, though I highly encourage you to watch that video for the YouTube algorithm and obviously because it's short and adds a little more context. So let's get right into it. We have our menu from the previous video and that pops up a notification in our scene view. We create the content, get the last active scene view, and then we use show notification function to get the notification out for a set duration of two seconds. But how would we do it if we wanted a view like the game window, as Unity doesn't give us a handy function to get that current one? Well, the answer should be obvious by now if you know me, and that's we're going to cheat. Let's first comment out showing the notification for the scene view. Now we need to get the type for the game view class, and we could do that by first getting the assembly for the editor window class, and then getting the type from that assembly by using the class name for game view, which comes under Unity Editor. Now, with the reflection done, we can use the Unity functionality under Editor Window for getting a Unity Editor window called Get Window, and we just provide that with the type. Now we simply call our Show Notification function with the content and the time. Popping back into Unity and clicking on the menu item, and we now have notifications on our game view. But what could we use this for? Well, nothing in the built game, as this uses editor functionality. But I could see this being useful for indicating putting the game into a special mode during editor testing, for example. Maybe you have a shortcut key that makes your character invincible, just so you can get through those particularly hard levels, not having to do them properly every single time. Now, let me know in the comments what you might use this for. And as always, make sure to like this video if you liked it, and subscribe if you're looking for upping your development capabilities.